The Franks were a Germanic tribe first mentioned by the Romans around 289 AD. They lived along the Rhine in the region of Toxandria, which bordered Roman Gaul. They were comprised of three sub-tribes, the Salians, the Ripurians, and the Chamavi. The first king to command a more unified Frankish people was King Merovec, who led his warriors in support of the Roman alliance against Attila at the Battle of the Catalonian Plains in 451 AD. Following the fall of the Western Roman Empire, King Childeric would lead the Salian Franks across the border into Gaul. Some of these old Roman towns supported the new rulers. Those that did not rallied under Siagrius, a Gallo-Roman commander. Childeric's heir Clovis would begin his reign by meeting Siagrius at the Battle of Suessinus in 486 AD. Clovis then warred against the other Frankish nobles and tribes to unite them under his banner. After this, he launched a great series of conquests against his neighbors, the Alamans, the Visigoths, and the Turingians. It was in 491 that he would marry the Burgundian princess Clotilde, who urged him to renounce Germanic paganism and worship God. It was during the Battle of Tolbiac, outnumbered against Alamans, that Clovis first prayed to God, and the Frankish army emerged victorious that day. It was not long after that he himself would become baptized, and the Frankish kingdom began converting to Catholicism. Frankish armies were heavy infantry-centric. The majority of Frankish warriors would go to battle armored in chainmail, carrying a shield, sword, and multiple throwing axes, which they would use to shatter enemy shields. The Carolingian Empire was an important medieval empire. It was a Frankish empire ruled by the Carolingian dynasty. The empire covered a large part of Central Europe and laid the foundation for many European countries such as Germany, France, and the Low Countries. It was established to rule Western Europe. The name derives from a large number of family members who bore the name Charles, most notably Charlemagne. It started out as a strong dynasty. The last of the Merovingian kings were so weak that their nickname changed from long-haired kings to the sluggard or do-nothing kings. These kings were so lazy and so weak that most of the work running the Frankish Empire was placed on the shoulders of the mayors of the palace, who actually did all of the work, including leading Frankish armies into battle. Charles Martel also noticed the hammer was one of the most famous of these mayors in the palace. In AD 732, he led the Franks to a stunning victory over an invading army of the Moors at Tours and forced them back into Spain. The Carolingians came from a long line of bishops, religious leaders in the Roman Catholic Church. So Charles remained loyal to the church. He defended the Pope in Rome when needed and had famous campaign against the Saxons. Charles demanded that the pagan Saxons convert to Christianity. Those who refused were beheaded and over 4,000 in one day. Christianity was saved in France and Martel became a legend. While Charles Martel enjoyed his title of the hammer, he never took the title of the king. He was content being mayor of the palace. Martel's title was passed to his son, Pepin the Short. And unlike his father before him, Pepin was the mayor of the palace who believed that once he was doing all of the work, he should be king. So Pepin appealed to the Pope in Rome, who was the spiritual leader of the Roman Catholic Church. The Pope was a very powerful man, and the people would accept the Pope's decision. Pope Zachary at the time was being pressured by attacks in Italy by the Lombards. He needed a strong ally, so Pope Zachary agreed that Pepin should rule. He united much of Western and Central Europe during the early Middle Ages. He was the first recognized empire to rule from Western Europe since the fall of the Western Roman Empire three centuries earlier. The expanded Frankish state that Charlemagne founded is called the Carolingian Empire, as we talked about before. Charlemagne ruled over the vast empire. He divided it into 52 countries and appointed a count to run each country. Not taking any chances, Charlemagne had a special agent called Missy Domenci check up on these counts to make sure they were honest and did not abuse their power. The Carolingian Empire during the reign of Charlemagne covered most of Western Europe as the Roman Empire once had. After the death of King Charlemagne, his only remaining son, Louis the Pious, took the throne.
Louis was not a great leader like his father, and because of this, he lost control of much of his empire to rebellion and civil strife. Much of these rebellions were led by Louis's own family, including his sons. In the end, Louis was successful in subduing his sons under his reign. In 840, after Louis's death, his three sons, Charles the Bald, Louis the German, and Lothair I, began a bloody three-year civil war over who will claim his throne. This civil war ends when the three come to an agreement known as the Treaty of Verdun. The Treaty of Verdun was an agreement to split the Frankish realms into three different sections, one for each of the sons to rule. Charles would have the land known as Western Francia, Lothair would have the land known as Middle Francia, and Louis would have the land known as Eastern Francia. Western Francia would face a series of raids from Scandinavian Vikings all along their coastlines. Eventually, the Vikings would set up a beachhead and settlement in what is now known as Normandy. West Francia would later turn into modern-day France. Middle Francia would fall victim to constant raids from its western and eastern borders, up until the time of Lothar's death in 855, when the country is split in three, and will become modern-day Italy and modern-day Switzerland. Louis the German would come to control East Francia, and the nations of Thuringia, Franconia, and Saxony under its control. The bloodline of rulers in eastern Francia had mainly been a Carlaginian, up until the time of Conrad I in 911. After his death in 915, he appointed Henry of Saxony to be the new ruler, making this the first Saxon ruler. His son, Otto I, would become Holy Roman Emperor and transform eastern Francia into the Holy Roman Empire, and later modern-day Germany. 